Hello and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. On this channel, as you know, we've done plenty of comparisons of hardware versus software. But until now, it's always been some presets on a single synthesizer. What about trying to compare an entire track made with vintage synthesizers? Although I have plenty of software plugins, I don't have an awesome collection of vintage synthesizers and drum machines. But I do know a man that does. This gave me an idea for a really interesting collaboration and a fun challenge. And the guy that immediately came to mind was Espen Kraft. He's not far from me, he's over in Norway. Espen has an amazing collection of classic synthesizers and drum machines. Not only that, but he's awesome at producing 80s synth pop. I think he's perfect for this challenge. So I wonder if Espen is up for this. Would he be willing to create a track on his hardware that I could then attempt to emulate on software? Well, let's see what he has to say. Hi Woody, it's Espen Kraft here. I uh, thank you for your challenge and I accept the um, invitation to make a track using only hardware and old school hardware as well. I'm going to perform the track I've cooked up for you and it's going to be interesting to see if you can really emulate my sound in software afterwards. So I'll see you in a bit. Way to go, Espen. That was awesome. Okay, Woody, that's the track. So uh, I throw the ball over to you now. Let's see what you can do. Okay, so I've got to tell you, it took just one day for Espen to put that track together after I invited him to collaborate with me. That's pretty amazing. And the first time he played that track for me, I thought it was perfect for this challenge. He's using just the right synthesizers, a fantastic drum machine, and I really loved the chords, the melody, and the arrangement. 
Espen provided a zip file for me containing some information about the tracks, the audio stems, some videos and so on, which we'll check out in a moment. That should help me to get started. But I just wanted to mention if you yourself are interested in attempting to recreate the track yourself or perhaps doing a remix or your own interpretation, you can download this. I'll provide links in the description below. Here we have then the Getting Started kit that Espen very kindly provided. So there's a DX7 SysX Polysynth Nitro Patch 8 Fairlight Flute at the end. Okay, that's awesome. We have SysX for the PG8X. Okay, nice. Two Polysynth. The D50 was in there. I didn't spot that during the performance. Okay, so you're getting an idea of the synthesizers that I need to emulate here. Stems. So the chords he has very kindly provided as well. And there you go. Did you not get the memo, Espen, about keeping this really simple? Just a looping pattern I said would have been okay? I've got my work cut out here. I really have. And then we have some video files and we have, I see, the mastered audio, the rendered audio of the track, which we'll use for the final comparison. The sounds and patches, what do we have here? All drums off the RX-11, yes. Each drum taken through its individual output and treated on the submixer with compression, EQ, etc. Oh, just that's gonna be a challenge, I think. The whole drum track is also compressed and EQ'd in post. Okay, very nice of you to tell me all this information because it will help me to recreate the sound. I'll either use a drum rack in Ableton for the drums or I have the Arturia Spark, which is a recreation of several vintage drum machines. We'll use either of those. We'll see which one sounds the best. I don't think it's so interesting to do a note for note recreation of this track. I'm mostly interested if I can capture the vibe and the sound, but I'll probably do my own arrangement and maybe add some of my own twists. And I'll use the Ableton Live session view for that and trigger clips on the launch pad. Oh, we have a digital guitar synth sound right before the DX7 Fairlight Flute. That's from the Yamaha TX802. Wow, what an awesome collection this guy has. Oh, yep, the guitar patch, as I suspected, came from the Roland Juno 2. That's the Alpha Juno. Oh, he's even thrown in an Elka EK22. The bass is from the Roland Juno 6. So there I'll use either Tal Juno LX or the Juno from the... What's it called? The Roland Cloud Legendary Series. We've got a few DX7s and FM parts here, so perhaps I'll use a combination of Dexed and the Arturia DX7 plugin. I've forgotten the name of that one. All heavily drenched in Strymon reverb, which I don't have. I don't have any software emulation of that either. TC flashback delay and a chorus. We'll just use Ableton's built-in reverb chorus and delay for those, I think. That should be good enough. We need to ask Espen why he called this track Cats Dead. I think that's a terrible name for a synth pop track, but he did say it's because of his Norwegian sense of humour. So can someone please explain that for the rest of us? I'll stream my creative process over on Twitch. So go ahead and follow me there if you want to participate. And by the way, I've got a ton of new followers over there. So thank you very much if you're one of those. We'll also publish the final result over here on my YouTube channel and we'll get Espen's reaction. We'll also feature any of the tracks that you guys produce. That's it for today then. Thank you very much for watching this video and keep an eye out on the channel for the outcome of this challenge. I'm sure you are just as interested in the outcome as I am. Thanks for liking, subscribing and do remember to visit Espen's channel and subscribe to him as well. Thanks ever so much guys. Cheerio.